Hi guys! Today for your attention is the top 10 aircraft carriers in the world. The number one is Gerald Air Ford. The Gerald Air Ford class aircraft carriers are the successor to the Nimitz class. It is expected that a total of 9, 10 new aircraft carriers of this class will be built. This will be the largest and most powerful warships ever built. These aircraft carriers will be the main strike force of the US Navy throughout the 21st century. The design of the Ford class body is similar to that of the Nimitz class. The new aircraft carriers will have a smaller redesigned island and will be equipped with more automated and efficient surveillance and control systems. It will be able to carry an air group of 85 planers, helicopters or unmanned aerial vehicles. It will include F-35 GSF and F-A-18E, F-E-A-18G and E-2D Advanced Electronic Warfare Aircraft, MH-60R and MH-60S helicopters. The second place is Nimitz. A total of 10 aircraft carriers of this class were built, including 3 for the original design and 7 for the improved one. These were the largest warships of their time. Nuclear power, they can carry 80 aircraft and helicopters, mainly F-A-18E, EA-6B, Prowlers, electronic warfare aircraft, E-2C, Hockey, early warning aircraft and MH-60R and MH-60S helicopters. The Nimitz class have automated self-defense systems against cruise and ship missiles through the integration and coordination of weapons and electronic warfare systems. The third one is Admiral Kuznetsov. The Admiral Kuznetsov was commissioned by the Russian Navy in 1991 and is smaller than US aircraft carriers, but carries more powerful offensive weapons. The absence of a catapult excludes the launch of aircraft with heavy strike weapons. This warship carries about 40 aircraft and helicopters, including the Su-33 and Mi-29K, and various versions of EA-27 shipborne helicopters. Admiral Kuznetsov is a heavy aircraft carrier. It carries some of offensive weapons, for example, 12 missile launchers of the SCRC Granny. The number 4 is Lion E. The Varag was the second ship of the Kutnisov class to leave the stocks in the city of Nikolai, which is in Ukraine now. It was laid down in 1985 and launched in 1988, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, funding for the building of the ship stopped. The unfinished hull was eventually sold to China, where it was rebuilt and refitted. This aircraft carrier entered service with the Chinese Navy in 2012 under the name Lioning. Lioning can carry up to 50 aircraft and helicopters. After repair, the Chinese ship lost all offensive heavy weapons of the Admiral Kuznetsov class. It carries now short-range defensive weapons only. The fifth place is Queen Elizabeth. Aircraft carriers of the Queen Elizabeth class, in the amount of two ships, were due to enter the Royal Navy of Great Britain in 2020. The first aircraft carrier was laid down in 2009 and is now being completed afloat. The Prince of Wales sister ship is scheduled to be operational by 2020. The two aircraft carriers will be the largest warships ever built for the Royal Navy. They will be able to carry over 40 aircraft and helicopters. Their main armament will be F-35B, STOVL aircraft and CH-47 Chinook Merlin and Lynx Wildcat helicopters. The number 6 is Charles de Gaulle. This is a relatively modern nuclear-powered ship. It entered service with the French Navy in 2001. 
It is currently the flagship of the French Navy. It is the only nuclear-powered aircraft carrier built outside the United States. Charles de Gaulle can carry more than 40 aircraft and helicopters. The air group consists of 30 Rafale multi-role fighters. E2C Hockey Radar Warning Aircraft and helicopters represented by SA365F Dolphin or SA322 Cougar. A second ship was planned, but due to lack of funding, construction was never began. The number seven is Vikramaditya. The Indian Navy is featured in our top 10 aircraft carriers of the world with a ship named Vikramaditya. This light aircraft carrier is a modified and re-equipped former Kiev-class aircraft carrier. One of the ships of this class was sold to India after equipment at Sevmash. Vikramaditya can carry about 30 aircraft and helicopters, including MiG-29KU, and MiG-29QB and also KA-31 helicopters. Their maximum air group consists of 30 aircraft and 6 helicopters. Number 8 is San Paolo. San Paolo is a Clemenceau class aircraft carrier. It was originally commissioned into the French Navy in 1963 under the name Forge. The ship was sold to the Brazil in the year 2000 where it becomes the new flagship of the Brazilian Navy. Sao Paulo can carry up to 40 aircraft and helicopters. However, this aircraft carrier is used mainly for pilot training now. Its offensive capabilities are limited. The number 9 is Cavour, Italy. Cavour is a light aircraft carrier that started its history in 2008. It is currently the new flagship of the Italian Navy. This modern warship is designed to operate five STOL F-35 aircraft and helicopters and can serve as a common center. Cavour carries more than 20 aircraft and helicopters. Currently, VAV Harrier 2 are taking off from it. In the future, they will be replaced by the Lockheed Martin F-35B. Helicopters are represented by O-100, O-1, NH-90 and SH-3B. It can carry main battle tanks and amphibious assault vehicles in an aircraft hangar. It also accommodates a regiment of 325 Marines. And finally, number 10, Chakri Narubet. The aircraft carrier Chakri Narubet was built in Spain. It was commissioned by the Royal Thai Navy in 1997. It can carry about 30 aircraft and helicopters. The air group includes AV-8S Matador aircraft and S-70B Seahawk, as well as Seeking or CH-47 Chinook helicopters. However, Chakri Narubet lacks defensive weapons. No planned primary anti-aircraft armament has been installed including an 8-element VLS launcher for Sea Sparrow missiles and four Vulcan Phalanx CIWS mounts. This vessel is protected by Mistral short-range infrared homing missiles. Thank you for watching this video. Put your like and subscribe on the channel. Lots of interesting things are waiting for you.